don't really know what else to say besides nice guys aren't really nice guys. They're really dicks. <laughs> <laughs>
I can rap over blah, blah, blah. He rapped over the, uh, the Jay-Z trouble beat. When he left, we were just kind of like, he doesn't suck ass. This is, this is when Todd wasn't even making beat shit. He was, he was just coming around, just kind of being around for the recordings or whatever. Uh, Free had a uh, pretty cool sound clip page. I would literally just sit and listen to his beat sometime while I was in, while I was bored. So then I decided at that point, I was like, you know, when I found out what equipment he was using, that it wasn't too far-fetched, I, uh, you know, convinced my grandmother to buy me a laptop. I started making beats, I started fiddling around with beats, but, uh, it's funny because nobody took me seriously at all. Next thing you know, Todd's making beats. I showed him a few things and he took that and ran with it and he got really good really fast. By that time, what you have is something in the making that we were just doing shit just to do it. He would always be emceeing with me at parties. He'd always be recording with them at their studios around the towers. They formed the group Nice Guys. He being the MC, he invited me in because I was always you know, with him anyway. You know, DJing, MC combo. The next thing you know, uh, Todd had an idea to, uh, to do a mixtape. This was like December 2006. Maybe we should make a mixtape. That makes sense. Let's make a mixtape. I'm taking a shit. I was actually on the toilet. And I answered my phone. And he was like, we should do a mixtape. I was like, fuck it, let's do it. And I was December 2006. And from that point on, we never looked back. Lord, I hope somebody feel me. Does anybody feel him? Life in Eastboro was a film. Queens, now my life's an Eastboro film. Supporting cast is absent. I'm Rob Neville. I am legend on all levels. What, what, what I realized that if you can't adapt to a situation, if you can't adapt to other people's situation, you're really not going to go far. So like I said, we've been from New York, yeah, that's my, my voice sound like I'm from New York, but I can adapt to what's going on. I mean, it's 2009. Like, if you, if you really, you know what I'm saying, localizing yourself, like, honestly, man, make music for yourself. You that's the rap. Like, seriously, that's like, that's corner. Like, real talk. Like, if you, if you, if you localizing yourself to an area or to, or to a, a coast, like, come on, man. They've certainly clocked in, and they certainly will on their way to doing whatever they want to do. So I just want to say, we have a lot more to accomplish. We're just getting started, but it's, I'll be damned if it's not a good start. Nice guy, two six five. Appreciate you, big Kind of assumed that we were just, you know, hipsters, blasey blasey, materialistic. The thing about the good thing about the green room was it was. It was Lyrics, beats, rhymes, and really traditional hip hop, and it's really good. So, it's all you hipster rapper guy, you know, bloggers and all that shit, suck a mean one. <laughs>